What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Thick and Chunky Show. Hold it. So this says it's to me black double XL. No other information on there. I don't normally get packages, man. Fat guy strong. Swole Squatch Apparel. Bro, I've been waiting for this shirt for a long time. So, my buddy over at Ignition Design PDX ended up starting his own clothing line for athletes and non-athletes combined. It's workout gear, it's hangout gear, it's all things considered. Swole Squatch. Yeah, bro. Check it out. This is what it looks like. Snug as a bug on a rug, bro. Swole Squatch. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Swole Squatch and what they do, check the link in the description below. They have some of the coolest designs in the in the workout industry. Their clothes are made of good solid material. This makes me want to work out, bro. I'm about to go lift some weights or something. Anyway, I'm actually going to meet up with my boy Big Country today, the owner of Swole Squatch Apparel, and we are going to go to Taco Time. Now, I've been looking for a Taco Time for a long time since I saw that this mother of all burritos came out. They closed down most of the Taco Times. Now, something sneaky that I see happen is every time I see a Taco Time, I see Taco Bell jams a little cheap taco restaurant right next to it, bro. That's sabotage in my opinion. Taco Time, better than Taco Bell, just the way that it is. Stay tuned to the end of today's video where you are gonna have a chance to win a swole squatch hat of your own the murked out black style swole squatch hat thank you to swole squatch for sponsoring this thank you for the giveaway stay tuned to the end to find out how you could be a winner yo yo you could be a winner today taco time big country ignition design pdx swole squatch apparel let's get it What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Thick and Chunky Show. I'm your host, Mr. Corey Styles, like always. For those of you day oneers, you're gonna remember my boy, Big Country, owner of Ignition Design PDX, also owner of the new Swole Squatch Apparel. What up, man? How's it going, bro? What's up? Swole Squatch has been real dope. They provided me with this shirt. They also gave me something to give away for you guys. The murked out black swole squatch hat. Fitted hat, medium to large. That's a good looking hat, boy. Yeah, that's, that's a new era hat. That's that new era 3930, much like this one. So, at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to win this, but first, today we're at Taco Time. I've been trying to get this Taco Time video done for a long time, but there aren't a lot of Taco Times left. It was a struggle to find one. And then my wife said, oh, there's one right down the street. I didn't even think of this one. It's like kind of in a little nook or whatever. So they have the mother of all burritos. This burrito is supposed to be over a pound of burrito. Sorry, loud truck in the back. It's supposed to be over a pound of burrito for $3.99. It comes with, what's it look like it comes with? Rice, cheese. Actually, I took a picture of what it comes with. It comes with this. That's everything it comes with. So, we're going to get into it. Now, I get mine the way that it comes because you know my rules. My boy Big Country is a little bit more picky of an eater. Yep. Yeah, man. So he got his without the five alarm sauce. It's a pretty hefty yeah, burrito. It's a, it's a big burrito. Swords? Yeah. All right. It's mm, pretty good. That's really good. I don't taste the five alarm, though. So you can see it's hefty. Now the thing I will say about it is it has like 10 ingredients, but it's kind of like a Taco Bell burrito where it all tastes like one, like it's made together. Yeah, yeah. 
It's like they took all the ingredients, mixed them all in one big pile, and then put it in there. Right, there's no layers to it. Yeah, yeah, you don't get the potato on its own, you don't get the rice on its own. It all, I, it tastes good, don't get me wrong, but it definitely isn't like profound taste structure. No, the thing that works for me the most is the crunch of the, uh, the grilled shell. I like that too. And it doesn't look like a basic taco shell, you know what I mean? It's like a wheat shell. Yeah, it's something special. But it's actually really good. Yeah, it's good. All right, so in my opinion, for $3.99, this is an amazing deal. It's over a pound of food, it's good tasting, but the layers aren't, they aren't distinct. There's not distinct flavors in there, so if that's what you're looking for, you're gonna be unhappy. But for $4, if that's your pick, you might wanna keep it quiet. Right. <laughs> for the Thick and Chunky Show, Mr. Corey Styles, I am going to grade the Moab, I wanna say Moab burrito, but the B is burrito. All right. The Moab burrito, or the mother of all burritos from Taco Time, I'm gonna give it a B plus. Now, it could get in the A category if the layers had flavors on their own, but value-wise, it's, it's out the roof. Yes. Value-wise, it's completely with it. What do you think? Uh, when I think of mother of all burritos, I think something that's, that's game changer. You can't you can't put out there label it the mother of all burritos, and then you get you get this. It's a good price and it tastes good, but it's not it's not a game changer. I Me, mean, it'd be like a B minus just based on that advertising alone. The one thing that does I think why they call it the Moab is a lot of it has to do with that spicy five alarm sauce. So the Moab is kind of big in the spice world right now. Anytime something's real spicy, they call the Moab, the mother of all bars or mother of all whatever, but it doesn't necessarily hit the mother of all burrito right. mark. Also, they have stuffed cheesy or ah, uh, I just went right up in there. Foul. So they have tots, but they also have stuffed tots. So I asked her what's a stuffed tot. She said cheese and jalapeno. Now cheesy tots. I'm not gonna hide from nobody. Cheesy Tots are my favorite side at any fast food restaurant anywhere imaginable. No matter what I'm doing, if I'm at Burger King, I'm getting Cheesy Tots if oh, they're there. Tots are gone. And then the second I love them, Burger King rips them away because they're a dictator. But if you told me you put jalapeno, I love jalapenos. So I'm gonna give this a try. Mmm. It's like a slightly fresher Cheesy Tot with jalapeno in it. I'll try one. I don't do jalapenos. But it's a small one. amount. This for you guys with, with the thick and chunky show followers there. It tastes slightly more like potato. There's a little bit of jalapeno, but not a ton. There's less cheese in it. There's less cheese, but it there's, tastes good. There's less cheese in it. And for any overindulger like myself, you're going to know that the reason why you love them in the first place is because of the cheese. So they're not knocking the cheesy tot out, but they do stand well on their own. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, a little bit of spice on that back part, but it was all right. bad. Not too much. Not What'd too you much. get? I got just the regular Mexi fries. Yeah, it's just the regular. Just the ones without cheese or. Yeah, they're just churched up tater tots. <laughs> Just away from the charge an extra dollar for it. Yeah, nothing special. Just the basic run of the mill. That's a tater. Top. That's a tater top. Just tater top. <laughs> so when you came up with Swole Squatch, what was your idea behind it? So my idea behind it was when I first started getting into fitness and working out, I couldn't find shirts that fit me that looked good. Mm -hmm. So the point was to make shirts that would fit a bigger guy, fit a you know larger lady, stuff that would look good on people who aren't just you know gym barbies and guys who sit in the gym 24/7. So it's not just about working out; it's a lifestyle brand. It's about owning who you are, the flaws and all, just being uh, yourself and really putting that out there that I'm confident who I am. And that's where it came from. That's dope. Make sure you guys check out all their social medias. Links are going to be in the description below. To the part that y'all been waiting for, the giveaway. The giveaway on the hat, what we're going to do is we're going to post this picture here to the Swole Squatch Instagram, which you are going to find in the description below. Click on that link, go to this picture, and just comment anything. Just comment. All you have to do is comment and you are entered and you are entered into the contest to win the hat. It's gonna be a two-week contest, and at the end of two weeks, I'm gonna take everybody who commented. Everyone's gonna be put into a drawing, and the winner, I'm gonna send the hat to you. Person, I'm gonna pay for shipping. Now, you have to be in America, because yeah, yeah. I'm not paying for international shipping. But as long as you're in America, as long as you comment on this picture on Swole Squatch Instagram, link in the description below. You could win the hat for free, all free. Shipping, the beautiful hat, the way it feels on your head. It's like a head hug. It's like a hug for your head provided to you by Swole Squatch. What do you think? Sounds good, man. 
Appreciate it. Once again, thank you for tuning into the Thick and Chunky Show. Please make sure that you like the video with a thumbs up. Please make sure that you subscribe if you're not already subscribed, if you're interested in the content I do. And then make sure you share it with everybody you know. Go over, check out Swole Squatch Apparel. These guys are doing real big things. It's really cool to see a small business grow and see somebody who has a lot of skill put their time and effort into it. By the way, Big Country actually designed the Thick and Chunky Show logo. Right. So when you see the Thick and Chunky Show logo, that is Ignition Design PDX. So I'll also put the Ignition Design PDX link in the description. And if you have any design needs, holler at him, man. Takes good care of you. Real fair price. Real quick turnaround. So thank you to Big Country. Thank you to y'all. 